So last time we finished uh, on this equality. Let's prove it using uh, truth tables. It will be simple. We have uh, only two variables, a and b. So the truth table will be pretty small. So the cases are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. And the parts of equality are a plus a negated b. And another one, a plus b. And we need to check if, that, if they are equal using truth tables. Using this truth table. So if a, b, 0, 0, then the whole thing will be 0. Plus 0 negated is 1. Multiplied by 0 is the whole thing is 0. Then again, uh, 0 plus a negated 1. Uh, b is 1. Then the whole thing equals 1. Next one, 1 plus 1 negated 0, multiplied by b is 0, equals 1. And the last one, uh, 1 plus 1 negated is 0, plus b is 1. And the whole thing is 1 again. Uh, let's do the same for a plus b. A 0 plus 0, uh, let's write it anyway, is uh, 0. Then 0 plus 1 is, sorry, is 1. Then uh, 1 plus 0 is also 1. And 1 plus 1, as you remember, equals 1. And now you, you can see that the result of the first uh, part of the table equals the result of the second one. That means that these terms, this one and this one, they are actually equal for all the possible values. Because we listed all possible combinations of values. And that's actually a pretty handy thing. Let's, let's write it down as our uh, third hand rule. Because it's not... it's... it's yeah, it's really handy because it's not easy to uh, to prove it using uh, uh, with with the same with the same way we proved our other two handy rules. You remember we proved it just uh, simplifying one expression, and uh, this one could not be proved using only simplify uh, only simplifying expressions. Uh, and uh, how to prove it, I will show you further. It's actually some kind of fun to prove this one. But we already proved that using a uh, truth table. So let's let's write it down as our another handy rule. So what do we have here? A plus A negated B equals A plus B. Our third handy rule. Yeah, so here we have all of them, all three. And now let's let's uh, let's do another uh, another truth table just in order to practice. Uh, let's say we have a very simple one. We have a very simple expression like this one. Let's say x equals to a plus b c. Uh, and we want uh, to make a truth table out of that. This will be uh, a little bit different because before that we were checking expressions, we were checking equalities that uh, turned out to be uh, rules of Boolean algebra. And here it is not a rule, it's uh, some kind of function. Here x, x is a function of variables a, b and c. Uh, I, if you are, if you know what function is from uh, uh, algebra of real uh, values, numbers, then you should be fine with this one. Anyway, if you started to learn Boolean algebra, uh, I guess you have some background in math, yeah, like high school math, yeah. or just middle school math, or whatever. And here, it, it's it's actually it's even simpler because here we proved uh, we created this uh, truth table for example for two functions for this one and for this one 
And here we will create a truth table for one function. It's uh, the result of this func function that is actually x. I hope you understand uh, my perfect English. So, how many variables we have in this function? This function has three variables. X is just the result of this function. We could just uh, say it just this expression we are interested in, but we just call this expression uh, x because x uh, uh, receives the result of this expression. Yes. So let's create a truth table. Here we have uh, three variables of this in this function. So let's list them a, b, c. And we draw table. Now that's what that was too big. But let's make use of this. Uh, and all possible combinations. 0, 0, 0. Uh, 0, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1. Uh, 1, uh, uh, 0, 0. 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1. I left some, left some space. We will, uh, actually, we will need this space. And on the right side of, of table we have A plus B, C, which is X. We call this one X. It's equal to X. So let's, let's calculate truth table for this one. Zero, 0 plus 0 by 0, I will even not write that down, I will just leave that, is 0. Then uh, 0 plus 0 by, by 1 is still 0 because we multiply by 0. Then uh, what do we have further? 0, the, the, the third one, 0 uh, multiplied by 1, uh, plus 1 multiplied by 0, it's still still 0. Then the uh, next one, uh, a is 0, multiplied by 1 by plus, what's, what's happening? 0 plus 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. Then next one, uh, we have a equals to 1. That means the whole expression will be will equal to 1 anyway, because 1 plus anything is 1. It's, you ho I hope you remember that. Uh, then again we have a equals to 1, that that means again that here we have 1, and 1 plus anything is 1, we just don't care for others. Uh, and the same the same case for our left uh, two, for our last two cases. I hope you uh, you remember all, the, all the things I'm referencing to from the previous videos. So, and here we have the truth table, we have all the possible cases of A, B, C, and we have uh, the, the result of this expression for all the possible cases of these variables. Wow, that was easy. That was really easy.